A month ago, I created an ecosystem, sprawling with flora and fauna. A chunk of the Amazon in my bedroom. And this is its evolution, starting from the beginning. Okay, that was a bit quick. So, where were we? After applying silicon to the spray foam and pressing in the cocoa fibre, I washed down the back wall to remove any excess. Finally, I wedged the back wall into the tank. And it was done. It was finally time to introduce it to my bedroom's apex predator. He seemed to enjoy it. A paludarium was two elements. A terrestrial element and an aquatic element. We washed down some rocks and mini branches and placed them into the base, along with Lika. We then added the substrate. You can't have an aquatic section without water. And you can't have a terrestrial section without plants. During the day, this plant opens its leaves and closes them at night. This is a phenomenon known as nictinacity. As soon as the seeds have ripened, the plant projects them outwards. Then, these seeds get ejected. Before adding the plants, I also added moss. However, after getting a bit too trigger happy with the spray bottle, a problem arose. A problem that could jeopardize the entire ecosystem. A mold outbreak. The mold reproduces by emitting tiny spores into the air. If these were to be inhaled by any future reptile in the paludarium, it could cause serious health issues. I needed to act fast before the mold took over the paludarium. I needed a cleanup crew. And this came in the form of springtails and mini speckled wood lice. So I swiftly added them to the tank. They would eat mold and decaying matter. But would they survive? The wood lice headed for higher ground while the springtails congregated below. I put in a slice of cucumber to see what would happen and I discovered much more than I imagined. I found adult and juvenile slugs. Thankfully, both the wood lice and springtails were thriving. One of the weirdest things I saw was all of these springtails suddenly burst back into life. It was around this time that I added rain. I also did a water change, which went well. Look at, look at, look at that. After filling it back up with water, I added the underwater plants. I began the process of preparing the paludarium for larger life forms, like shrimps and millipedes. What I didn't expect was for snails to hitch a ride on the aquatic plants, or for whatever this thing is as well. It was time to fill up the paludarium. This involved reshuffling plants about and planting new ones.
It's not perfect, but it's a start. And on that note, it's time to add the millipedes. Bumblebee millipedes can secrete a noxious fluid from pores along their bodies as a defense mechanism. So I picked one up and added them to the paludarium. That was the first month, and that was my first paludarium, so please give me advice in the comment section below. This is the first video on this channel, so if you found it interesting, please subscribe.